From mirror photos to slip ups, Johnny Depp's team managed to reveal so many holes in Amber Heard's case. Here are your top 10 times Johnny Depp's lawyers destroyed Amber Heard's legal team. Starting off at our number 10 spot, we have You're Such a Baby. In the cross examination of Amber Heard, the famous tape where Amber admits to hitting Johnny and calling him a baby is played. There is a good minute or more that is played that gives you context as to what was happening at the time. Prior to hearing the recording, Amber testifies to the court that she only hit Johnny out of defense and that she never never hit him otherwise. But in this recording, it shows that that actually isn't true. Johnny's lawyers proceed to say to Amber, you said you hit Mr. Depp. To which Amber replied, yeah, I had to hit his body to get him out from the door. To which Johnny's lawyer replied, Miss Hurd, my question was, you said on that recording that you hit Mr. Depp, right? To which Amber replied, yes, I did. To which Johnny's lawyer set the trap and replied, and you accused him of being a baby for not wanting to start a physical fight. With you. To which Amber replied, I accused him of being a baby for complaining about me hitting him. He was trying to get through the door and I was trying to barricade. Sheesh. She walked right into that one. She finally admitted to it and showed a very key piece of evidence. If you were being hurt by this man, would you be calling him a baby for you just hitting him? And also, would he even be complaining about you hitting him so passively, if I may add, if he is the aggressor that you portray him as? This moment revealed a lot about both of their characters. In our number nine spot, we have Tazia Van Rie. There was a final moment when Johnny's lawyers question Amber about her previous relationship with Tazia Van Rie. They reveal an article that states that Amber Heard allegedly struck her ex-girlfriend Tazia Van Rie at the airport in 2009. There were witnesses at the airport, including the cops, that allegedly saw it, which led to the alleged arrest. Johnny's lawyer asked one final question of, Mr. Depp is not the only domestic partner that you have hurt, have you Miss Heard? Of course, Amber replied, Applied to never hurting any of her partners ever. But sadly, she once again lied to the court as there is evidence on the tape of her admitting to hitting Johnny. That was the last question Johnny's lawyer asked before finishing the cross examination. Damn, just damn. <laughs> I hope someone patted Camille on the back for that finale because that was arguably one of the best endings I've seen in a while. In our number eight spot today, we have Tell the World, Johnny. In day one of the cross examination, the very infamous tape where Amber says to Johnny, See what the jury and judge think. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them Johnny Depp. I, Johnny Depp, man, I am a victim too of DV. To which Johnny replied, yes. And then Amber went on to saying, you know, it's a fair fight. See how many people believe you or side with you. Johnny Depp's lawyer then commenced to reiterate what was just said by Amber, with Amber confirming that it was indeed her voice. But Camille's slow but subtle emphasis on the power of the words and what was just said, ah, uh, it was the perfect delivery to drive home the point. You can please tell people that it was a fair fight and you can see what the jury and judge think. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them Johnny Depp. I, Johnny Depp. A man, a victim too of DV. That's what you said, right? To which Amber replied, I am saying it to the man who beat me up. Yes, I thought it was preposterous. To which Johnny Depp's lawyer replied, and the man you beat up. Numerous times, right Mrs. Heard? Amber replied, I could never hurt Johnny. The last comment totally discredited her because the jury has already heard her on numerous occasions on tapes, apologize to Johnny and admit to hurting him. Coming up in our number seven spot, we have Fix it. At one point in the cross examination, Johnny's lawyer is reading a few pages out of a journal of what Amber calls their love journal. Camille Vasquez, Johnny Depp's lawyer, reads quite a few entries where Amber is apologizing to Johnny. Amber insists that there's more love entries than apology notes. Camille proceeds to read another apology that shows that Amber is very remorseful over her behavior. Amber proceeds to tell the court and jury that she was always trying to fix it, referring to her always trying to fix the problems they had. To which Johnny Depp's lawyer replies, fix it by apologizing for your bad behavior. <laughs> Yikes, savagery. Coming up in our number six spot, we have spilled wine. After the court listened to the audio tape of Amber and Johnny talking about Amber screaming at Johnny for spilling wine on her. At the beginning of this point, the court listened to the audio tape of Amber and Johnny talking about Amber screaming at Johnny for spilling wine on her. In this recording, 
Amber is very apologetic. After this recording was played, there was an air of where is Johnny's team going with this? But then we quickly realized that this recording was done a week or two after Amber said that Johnny allegedly hurt her. The scene went as follows. Johnny Depp's lawyer Camille Vasquez says, Mr. Depp says you screamed at him when he accidentally spilled wine on you. To which Amber replied, I realize that's what Johnny said. <laughs> to which Johnny's lawyer replied, and Mr. Depp tells you that this freaked out his son Jack. Then Amber said, Johnny often used other people to back him up in our arguments. To which Johnny's lawyer replied, you don't seem too concerned about that, do you? To which Amber replied, I had a lot of concerns. <laughs> To which Johnny's lawyer replied, you don't mention Mr. Depp's really injuring you in this recording, do you? To which Amber went on to say that that was not the point of that conversation. But whether that was the point of the conversation or not, if you were injured by someone, do you think you might be justified to scream if wine was spilt on you? Do you think you might be a little less apologetic for such a small incident? Would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Coming up in our number 5 spot we have mirror photos. Throughout the cross examination we hear quite a lot about a particular incident in Australia in March 2015 when Johnny Depp's finger was severed. From what we can gather about the incident is that Amber and Johnny had a big fight which then led Amber to allegedly throw a bottle at Johnny and sever his finger. This led Johnny to seemingly become hysterical, to then dip his finger in paint and start writing on the walls of the place they were staying in, as well as the mirrors. According to Amber's testimony, she was also physically hurt by Johnny that night and actually injured by way of a bottle. As Johnny Depp's lawyers are questioning Amber, they show Amber a picture that she took of the writing on the mirror that night. They then point out the fact that Amber can't be seen in the mirror. Interesting. But then also, why aren't there pictures of her supposed injuries from that night? But there is a picture of writing on the mirror, in which she clearly is standing out of frame. Very sus, Amber. In our number 4 spot today we have motion denied. After Johnny had made his case and all of the witnesses he brought had spoken, Amber Heard's team went to argue to strike the whole case and trial based off of lack of substantial evidence. Johnny Depp's lawyers took to the stand to argue that not only does he have substantial evidence, but he he also has proven that Miss Heard has injured Johnny. He went on to say that regardless of the creativity used in Miss Heard's Washington op ed, that everyone in the world knew that it was referring to Johnny and it therefore has caused him to experience some defamation. The monologue was completely compelling and clearly showed that there is a case here, and so the judge denied the motion to strike the case. In our number three spot, we have the gift. Ooh, this one was such a moment. At this point in the cross examination, you see Camille, Johnny's lawyer, begin to warm up Amber by asking her a series of questions to confirm her claims of being hurt by Johnny. She specifically highlights that these claims took place in 2012, and Miss Hurt agrees. But then she asks Amber about a gift that she gave Johnny in 2012 a knife. It was during these cycles of violence in 2012 that you gave Mr. Depp a knife as a gift? Johnny Depp's lawyers asked. To which Amber tried to play it off as if she couldn't remember when she gave it to him. But it was too late because the point was already driven home. She gave a knife to someone who supposedly hurts her. That doesn't sound right. This is the same knife that you gave to the man who would get drunk and violent with you, right? That's what Camille Vasquez finished on and man, was it good. Coming up in our number 2 spot we have the pledge. Arguably this moment may tie for first because this one and the first place spot was so hard to choose between. This is the moment when we discovered that in Amber's mind, to pledge to do something means to have already done it. To give you context, Johnny Depp's lawyers were trying to point out that Amber said she was going to give all of her divorce money to charity, but she didn't. Amber says that she pledges to, but then we are shown a clip where Amber is seen saying that she has donated the money. Past tense. Oh lordy, this was a fun moment. Moment. Johnny's lawyer said, Sitting here today, you have not donated the $7 million. Donated, not pledged, donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. To which Amber replied, I use pledge and donation synonymous with one another. Johnny's lawyers quickly jumped in to say, But I don't. Amber begins to make the case that she will donate it, but she hasn't been able to due to being sued. But then, of course, Johnny's lawyer then goes on to point out that she received all of her divorce settlement 13 months months prior to being sued. Coming up in our number 1 spot we have TMZ. In the 
original deposition done with Amber back in August of 2016, Amber was being questioned by Johnny's lawyers, whom are asking her if she sent a text message to Johnny's head of security, jury judge, saying that she is desperately trying to reach Johnny. When explaining the text message, Amber unfortunately has a bit of a slip up when she says, I remember sending this because I wanted to tell Johnny or have him told by Jerry or someone who knew him or was close to him. Basically, I didn't want him to find out online that I had or was about to file for divorce. I wanted him to know verbally, so I was trying to reach him through a third party to tell him. When I say reach, I'm specifically saying I would like him to know information coming from me or coming from Jerry from me so that he finds out about the divorce filing or my intention to do so from some other source other than TMZ, which was alerted. This clip was played in court only for Johnny's lawyer to say, slipped up there, didn't you, Miss Heard? Drops Mike. She then went on to share that also TMZ owns the copyright for the video of Johnny slamming the cupboards. So who else sold the video but Amber? who took the video. Amber of course denied it and went on to saying, what does that get me? If I wanted to leak things about Johnny, I could have done that in a much more successful way, in a bigger way for years and years. To which Johnny's lawyer quickly asked, not when you were extorting him for $7 million? Damn, that was an amazing minute in court. Wow. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'm Melissa Milotti and see you next time.